Hi, everybody. <coughs> oh, that was weak. <coughs> Hi, everybody. So continuing with the nose ribs here on horizontal stabilizer. That's funny, you can see my head darting back and forth, making sure I'm lined up with all the rivets. So I have a couple of uh, sets of rivet gauges. Good thing too because uh, once you put these nose ribs in, once you put that front bar on top of the nose ribs, anything that's in between those nose ribs pretty much gets trapped in there forever. And that's what I almost did with one of my rivet gauges. Instead of having to pull my arm out, grab the rivet gauge, put it back in, uh, it was easier just to leave it down there. And I wound up almost leaving it in there while I was riveting it all up. So as you, you can kind of get a little bit of a look down uh, the skin into the horizontal stabilizer to see the uh, ribs that I'm putting in. Uh, and if you look now, you'll be able to see as I get closer to this end, or at least you, you could sort of see, uh, was the bucking bar. Uh, like I said, it's perfectly shaped to fit inside of that leading edge. So now the front spar assembly has been put into place and putting it all back together. It's amazing. I mean it's a lot of holes and everything almost lines up perfectly. You have to nudge it a little bit back and forth. You would think well this is a static piece of metal, right? It's a spar. It goes all the way across. It should only fit in one way. And you're right, but there are many pieces that are attached to it and even being off as far as what might be imperceivable, like a quarter of a millimeter or something like that, uh, you know, you want everything to be lined up. And you don't want it to be forced into lining up, right? You, I mean, you want it to be, you know, pretty easy fitting. <coughs> so as you can see by the ease in which these clicos are going in, that uh, it indeed did go in uh, easily. I'm glad that I mocked it up before, before I wound up uh, doing any of this, and, you know, a eh, little bit of time, but totally worth it. So after clicoing everything up, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start pop riveting the front spar to the nose ribs. Very interesting proposition, I might, I might add. So I bought the ch world's cheapest uh, pop rivet gun. I think this thing cost me five bucks through Amazon, and what a flaming piece of crap that thing is. Uh, but I'm very glad I bought it because it is extremely low profile, very small, and you're able to squeeze it into tight places. And when I say tight places, I mean doing these pop rivets. Uh, basically, the so my pop rivet gun doesn't swivel, so you basically only get to do it in one way. And the only way to actually get that done was you had to put the pop rivet into place, then you had to slide the pop rivet gun down. The main handle, the one that does not uh, bend, uh, doesn't have the swivel, or, or I should say doesn't have the pivot point on there, actually has to go through the bottom lightning hole. If you look at the end of the spar, you'll see there's three lightning holes um, in the top uh, spar assembly. So the handle goes through the bottom hole, then you're able to squeeze ever gently uh, down, and then you would have to reposition and do it again, and it is very difficult. But uh, a little bit of practice and got it done. Anyway, now that uh, those are done, we will start with the main ribs in the next video.